lectures. A couple of remarks on Greece. I know that you are going to ask me anyhow, so uh, let's uh, take it up front. Uh, uh, on Greece, uh, we have made uh, good progress in the discussion with the authorities in recent weeks on uh, uh, on, a, on, a, on a program of policies. There, there remain outstanding issues, but we think there is sufficient progress for us to send back the mission. So the mission is going to go out uh, uh, next week. Uh, and I hope with the momentum and in, in the, that we have seen the last few weeks uh, that that mission will be successful and that we are getting close to, to having a staff-level agreement on policies. As you know, uh, 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 Greece and its European partners had always agreed to sequence the discussion, to first have the discussion on policies, and then only thereafter discussions on debt. So these discussions are only really getting underway uh, uh, soon. You know our view, we need a package that's credible, both in terms of the policies and in terms of the debt relief uh, 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 needed to, to, to restore debt sustainability. And, and, and we would only go to, a board, to our board once we have, have such a a, a comprehensive, uh, credible package. I'm going to stop here and take your questions. Thanks. Thank you, Paul. Uh, please identify yourself and keep your questions short because we don't have much time. Let's start with two or three questions on, on Greece, perhaps. Lena? Thank you, Andreas. Uh, according to the Greek Statistical Authority, the primary surplus for uh, uh, 2016 reached 3.9. And uh, so, how is this number going to affect your projections for uh, the years 17 and 18, and for the period after the end of the program? And uh, also, what is your answer? Uh, your answer to those who say that uh, your numbers uh, were once again uh, wrong. Thank you. Let's get to some more questions on Greece. Action in Greece. Um, I would like to ask, uh, Greece may face uh, liquidity problems uh, on July because the disbursement uh, of the uh, loan that, of the, um, the disbursement that is linked with the second review uh, has, is pending. So uh, do you believe that if in uh, May 22nd will not be a fruitful Eurogroup, we will face uh, severe problems? And given that Greece had already uh, make uh, uh, had uh, implement whatever you want in the, the in taxation and uh, in pension reforms. Are you will be more helpful on uh, the side to overcome this uh, liquidity problem in, in July? Thank you, Katerina. Thank you, Katerina Soko with Greek Daily Katerina and Sky TV. Uh, I have two questions actually. One is on the Greek banking sector. Uh, how do you think, do you consider it critical that uh, it participates in the ECB's QE, uh, the quantitative easing? And how low do, do you think in general that the QE should continue in the Eurozone? And uh, you just came from a meeting with, uh, uh, between Minister Tsakalotos and uh, Madame Lagarde, obviously, and I understand you are having other bilaterals with European officials, uh, among others, on Greece. Uh, Madame Lagarde said that the debt was discussed already, and uh, she has asked for, for logical primary surpluses. Can you please give us an indication of what you consider a logical primary surplus and when it should come into force, roughly? Thank you. One more on Greece, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Petrus. Hello, Petros Kasfikis from the Greek newspaper Elektros Tipos. Uh, Mr. Klaus Reglin of ESM said that Greece might use ESM funding to repay IMF loans. Is this an attractive option for you? Okay, let's, let's get those. Okay, uh, let me uh, first start with, uh, with the target, and you're right that uh, 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 the numbers that came out this, this morning, I should say, this is not the number as it's defined in the program, but it's, uh, 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 you're correct, it is well above uh, what, uh, what, what we uh, have been projecting. Uh, it's well above what anybody has been uh, uh, projecting. Uh, I think that the budget that the, the authorities submitted to Parliament for 2007 at the end of 16 was based on the assumption that it would 
and 16 would be 1% of GDP. And here we are a few months later, and I think it's 3.9 or, or some, something like that. So there clearly is, is some major movements uh, here that needs to be understood. But no doubt that uh, 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 it was much, much more than uh, uh, we expected. It is uh, the issue here, and uh, let I fold the question on the, on the primary target in, in, into this. Uh, we have been arguing for Greece to do pension and tax reforms, not because we think Greece needs more austerity, not because we think that uh, 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 we need higher uh, 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 primary surpluses, but we think that Greece needs a more growth-friendly policy mix. Uh, but we have also accepted that uh, Greece has a program with the ESM that has a target of 3.5, and we think that uh, indeed policies, uh, as we, with, the, with the policy we are discussing, we think that Greece will reach uh, 3.5. We, uh, we agree with, with that. Uh, we have it a year later than the, than the ESM. We have it in 19. Uh, they have it in 18. The difference is inconsequential as far as the DSA and, and, and debt is, con is concerned. Uh, but we, we do not, th we, we think that uh, 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 if, if, the, if Greece wants to go to 3.5, as agreed with the European partners, uh, we, th we think uh, it's better to do it a bit slow, slowly, given the, the, the state of the, uh, of the economy. Uh, then the question is, how long should it stay at 3.5? That is the issue. That is under discussion. And uh, 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 it is no secret that we think that it should be a, a relatively short period. Uh, I'm not going to go into a discussion here what that means, but it's clear to us that uh, uh, it's, it's, it's critical that Greece these, uses this fiscal space that is created by these good reforms that are on the discussion, pension reform and tax reform, that Greece uses this fiscal space not to run high primary surpluses for a long time to repay debt, but to restructure its budget to become more growth friendly, more capital spending, more well-targeted social benefits that's critical for, for, for the broader reform of, of, of the economy, lowering uh, some excessively high tax rates, uh, uh, etc. Uh, so, so that's critical. Now how long that period is going to be, it is still for, for discussion and, and that is what we you know that, that, is, that is getting on the, on the way. Uh, on the questions on uh, on uh, 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 the liquidity problems in in Greece, uh, uh, yes, Greece uh, uh, will, would need support uh, 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 within the couple, next couple of months in order to over you know, to be able to to, to, uh, to make a number of payment schedule for 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 July. And uh, uh, this is why it is urgent. It is urgent that we agree uh, on, a, on a program and that, that we conclude all this discussion because it's taking a toll on the Greek economy. No doubt about that. It's serious. So there's an urgency uh, to that. Now, the fund can only support a program, as you know, if it's a comprehensive program that deals with the medium-term issues. We do not have a facility. We don't have an ability to go in and disperse just to sort of get over a hump for a few months and then without solving the more fundamental underlying problem. We don't do that. Uh, uh, so we only have a program if it is a program that promises to deal with the medium term issues as we uh, uh, see them. On the, on the question on, uh, on, on QE, uh, 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 you, you ask how long I thought QE should uh, continue, uh, right? I, you know, uh, and as, as I think before, I said before, core inflation in Europe is still low. There's still clearly a case for the ECB to continue the, the current accommod accommodative uh, mon monetary policy. That's all I have to say on that. On the last question, on, the, on using the ESM to repay the IMF, I think that's something that should be discussed. IMF money is expensive. It's more expensive. Than, uh, than ESM money, so that's certainly something that, that could help the, uh, 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 somewhat uh, the, the DSA, but that needs to be discussed. Mr. Thompson, uh, I realize today that I know you more than seven years. Um, 
With all the respect, uh, every day we hear the same things. Numbers, numbers, disagreements uh, between the players of this uh, drama. On May 9th, as you know, you will celebrate with the Greek government and the other lenders uh, seven years of programs and memorandums. I'm sure you agree that seven years are too many. The Greek people uh, wants to hear something else today from you. Can you tell us for how many years this tra uh, tragedy will continue? Any other? Uh... Yes, sir. Thanas Tsitsas, Antenna TV. Yesterday, Mr. Soible was very critical of the IMF economist during his talk at John Hopkins University, saying that the predictions of the Greek government have been far more realistic in the past two years. Mm -hmm. What is your response to Mr. Soible? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, very quickly. Would that be enough for the next installment? I mean, without something substantial uh, on debt or the period for the primary surpluses? Thank you. So, on the on the on the last question, if I I'm perhaps I misunderstood you, but we will not disperse before we have both agreement on policies and on a credible debt strategy. Perhaps I should spend a minute or two on saying, clarifying, what do we mean by a credible strat debt strategy? Let me start with what was agreed in the Eurogroup last year. There was agreement at the Eurogroup last year, first on a framework, that the framework should be one, or an, an objective should be to have a, a debt relief in place that would deliver a gross financing need of 15% over the medium term, 15% of GDP, and 20% over the very long run. That was agreed. Second, it was agreed that the debt relief did not need to be approved and come into effect before the end of the ESM program. Third, the Eurogroup specified a number, a menu of, of items. Some of these, they called them the short-term measures, were quantified and specified and actually have already been implemented, while some of them were rather broad and not specified. What do we need before we can disperse, if that's your question, as far as debt is concerned? First, we obviously need to agree on what I said before is still outstanding, namely the path for the primary surplus. How long should Greece maintain 3.5 and what is the landing point? That needs to be discussed. Second, we need to have more specificity about these unspecified part of the debt relief. Yes, we have said that we do not need to calibrate the debt relief. It's to the last decimal point at this stage because in any case we'll have to look at it at the end of the program based on a revised DSA at that time. But we still need to be able to go to our board and say that given the DSA as it is today, we have broad understanding on what kind of measures would restore uh, debt sustainability. So assuming that the mission agrees on policies, assuming we get these other two issues that I talked about here resolved, we, can, we will go to the board uh, with a, with an with a new uh, uh, program. On the, sorry? Without your I, you know, it's, uh, uh, that's up to the Europeans and the ESM. My understanding is that they want this to go hand in hand with fund approval of the program, but that's up to them. Uh, you should ask, ask, ask them. On the, on the, uh, on the issue of, of the targets and the uh, and, uh, estimations, it is, it is uh, the reality is that the first, no, uh, Michael says we have been doing this for seven years, the first five years we constantly were wrong on one side, meaning that we const con constantly overestimated the fiscal, uh, the, the, the fiscal performance. And it is true that the last uh, uh, one and a half year, we have, uh, uh, we have been wrong consistently on the other side. 
Uh, it, it's uh, clearly we did not understand fully. Neither did I did others, but I think we were more wrong on estim on on assessing the impact of the capital controls in f in you know in 15 and 16 on the economy. We were too conservative about that. No doubt about that. And uh, 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 so. I, I think that is that is that is a main main change. Again, the issue is not whether Greece can reach a certain target, let's say 3.5. I have no doubt that Greece has the ability and shown has the ability to squeeze here and there to get to these targets. But it cannot do so while growing at the same time without doing the kind of reforms that we want. That's the issue. The issue is not the targets and, 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 and the credibility of the targets in the short run, but the credibility of targets being maintained over the medium term while the economy is growing. That's the issue. Uh, on, and, and on, uh, on, on the last question, uh, uh, it's, uh, I think with this program, I think uh, falling into place, I think that you will see a rebound uh, in, in output. Uh, uh, you could have a fairly strong rebound in output uh, uh, from, 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 from a low level. Uh, but it will take many years for Greece to bring unemployment back to, uh, to pre-crisis level, bring incomes back to pre-crisis level. It will take deep structural reform, many of which are not yet on the books uh, that will still that still lie ahead of us, not least the opening up of the economy, uh, liberalization of the economy. It's an area where Greece still needs to do a lot. I also think that the fiscal structural reform we have talked about, pension reforms, tax reforms, are only a down payment. There is need for further significant structural reform in the public sector to enable the public sector to support the modernization of the economy at last. So this is, this is a long-term project.